All right, so that behind us, um, we're going to jump over to the agent tab. Again, clicking the white area at the top, selecting the agent module, and it's going to bring up all of the functions underneath the agent tab. Now, I like to begin with what's called deploy agents. Under install agents, deploy agents, this is, um, this is going to bring up the deployment packages. Okay, and basically these are the five deployment packages that we gave you by default. Now these deployment patches, packages are uh, pretty important. They contain two pieces of information uh, that's critical to installing the agent. The first part of it is the actual Kaseya agent that actually gets installed on your machine. And there are two different types of Kaseya agents. What do you think they are? Um, that's a good question. Uh, hey, take a guess. Two different types of Kaseya agents? Yeah, there's two types of agents. See, I didn't tell you there's going to be quizzes in this, did I? And no, you got me by surprise here. Um, well, I mean, there's the one that obviously, I guess a uh, Windows and a Mac agent? Would be yeah, I mean, and, and <laughs> the more thing that people say, when I do the training, I would say nine times out of ten, people come back to me and they give me the server workstation. Those are the two different packages. We have a server package and we have a workstation package. But the reality is exactly what you, you thought through it. You know, you looked at it closely. And you can see here, you know, we kind of have the old, uh, and this is, says Windows over here on the right, uh, you know, the old Sesame Street, one of these things doesn't belong with the others. Mac is the really <laughs> the oddball the, the one there, right? So the, the, you you are correct. You answered correctly. The the different types right. of agents that we have are a Windows agent and a Mac agent. Now, if you guys uh, if you're watching this and you're using six point one, which is due out sometime in January, there's going to be three agents that you'll have a choice of because we should have a Linux agent available to you as well. But for at the time that we did this uh, recording, there were only two agents, a Windows and a Mac. Now, that's important. All right, hold on to that for a second, just, to, you know, Windows and Mac. Now, I want you to look at the top of the screen here to this link. This is a link, this 585-24819. This is the link to the workstation installation package. I've set that to be the default. Now, watch what happens when I move this to, the, to make the server the default installation package. You're going to see that 585. You see that change to 248? Yeah. You see that? Every single, watch the laptop. I'm going to change the laptop. It's going to change again. All right, give it a second. There we go. You, can you see the 111? So that's how you can switch between them, download yeah, them. This link is the link to, oops, sorry, the link to the laptop installation package. If you want to install the laptop, you can click on that link and follow the prompts, and it installs. All now, right. Could you just potentially like copy that link into like a notepad file and dump it on a thumb sure. drive so when you're at a client site you could just download it direct yeah, from the just link? Just click or? on it, absolutely. Uh, we, we'll talk about some different ways of deploying the agent here in a second. But right now I just want you to understand you can click on this link. Now what do you think is going to happen if I take this laptop installation package and I walk up to one of your most important mission critical servers and I click on that laptop link? Do you think it will install on your server? Um. Hopefully not, but I assume it it probably will, though. Won't yeah, it? yeah, you're right. Okay, and, and exactly, you're right on both accounts. It'd be nice if it didn't, but it will. Because if you think about it, the only thing that the package cares about is that the word Windows is in the name of the operating system. It doesn't care if it's a server, laptop, you know, workstation. It, 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 it doesn't know yet. All it looks at is, hey, is it Windows? Is it Mac? Is it Linux? So what's going to happen is, I yes, I can very easily and very happily, the agent will install the laptop installation package or laptop deployment package will install on your mission critical server. It's happening. So what would it be doing differently, with, like if it's a laptop install versus yeah, a server and install? And that, that brings up, it's like, what is the difference between these packages? Because it'll install and it's happy to install, but you're not going to be happy that it installed. <laughs> because we're going to start treating that server, you know, that mission critical server with the same respect that we give to this lowly laptop. And that that treatment or or, or what makes these, this package different, and the second part of, of it, I said there were two parts, it's the settings that make these things different. It's not the agent. The agent is the same. It's the settings. 
and the settings come to you courtesy of these lovely little orange squares. When I click on the agent status button, we've got these lovely orange squares. These are templates. Look at the correlation. Audit template, laptop template, server template, workstation template. You see how that ties back? It, it ties back when we go to the deployment packages. We had the audit and the laptop and the server and the workstation deployment packages. Those so, templates are in, integral and integrated into these deployment packages. So when you install the server install, for instance, and you stick that on a server, it's going to install the Kaseya agent, the Windows Kaseya agent, and mm -hmm. then it's going to link, or it's basically going to read the settings out of that from the, server template. From the server template. And I'm going to show you that. We're going to open this up. We're going to actually look at a deployment package and, and show you how to create your own and show you how these things all link together. So I'm going to cover that in a second. But right now, I just want to make sure you understand a template is a keeper of settings. That's all it is. We, it, we manufactured this. We used the create button and we created a new one. You're welcome to create your own templates. Templates are free. You do not get charged for them. Please do not delete them. Um, so, you know, they're, they're free of charge and you absolutely may want to create templates to do other things. I mean, you may want a silver workstation template versus a gold template. You may want a, a Exchange 2003 server template. You can do all kinds of things. We could have flooded you with templates here, but it would become very confusing. So we kind of started small. We, we, we really believe you got to kind of walk a little bit before you can run. So here's what here's Fair what you, I, all I want you to know right now, and what's going to happen in, in when you get when you schedule your follow-on training uh, with me, we're going to go over all of the settings that are in these templates. Okay, so but right now, just remember that we've already pre-populated these templates with pieces of Kaseya. We've already got agent procedures, some basic stuff scheduled. We've got an audit scheduled for you. We've got monitoring scheduled for you. Um, we've got patch management. Um, or pieces of remote control, all that stuff is 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 in there already. You we, we kind of started you with a little bit, and that's all you need to know about right now. Okay, and until we get into kind of the advanced sessions, settings live on templates. Templates are part of the deployment packages, and then you use that link at the top of the screen to deploy the deployment package on your machine. That is the chain of life in Kaseya. Settings, templates, now, templates inside, and then you've got your link. One last question about that. Um, I've noticed I noticed that the templates are showing up next to the two machines that we've already gotten, kind of out there. On on they're all in, they're all in the unassigned group right now because we haven't moved them anywhere. That's why they're all okay. Together. So the templates sit in the unassigned group. Yeah. That's where you can find. Them. Yep. So it's, that's why.